Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and we're back with, um, well, continuing on with the Totemic Armor quests. This is the, um, I guess it'll be the second part of the cloak. Uh, I got the Basalt Drake scan in the last video, and I've now kind of, kind of taken myself to uh, Ocean of Tears. Now, <coughs> I don't know too much about the Ocean of Tears, I have to say, to be perfectly honest with you, <laughs> it could be, <laughs> this video could be a massive disaster. But what, what I've done, I don't know where the... Um, I don't know where the, the goblin is that I need to find um, to get the pipe from. From, um, and I'm not uh, hugely familiar with the uh, with the area itself. But uh, so, so what I've done, I've brought up a map so that I don't get completely lost because then this video would just be a complete nightmare. So what I plan on doing is just travelling between the islands to see, uh, yeah, just to see, no, just just as a process of <coughs> elimination, really, to find the um, uh, to find the goblin. But also just to record uh, footage for the Ocean of Tears, really. Again, a, a bit like oh, there's a boat there. Look, uh, a bit like um, uh, the sort of Raft Mountains, I guess. You know, just having some footage of the of the zone and and some of the points uh, on here. So I'm kind of ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be flashing using my cloak. I'm hoping I can stay levitating ab above the water. I'm, I'm pr pretty sure I can. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head off. Uh, I'm on, on the Zachariah Ray uh, Island. It's the first one that you come to when you get the boat from East Freeport, and it appears as though there are some. A, there are a couple of islands to the east of me here, so I'm going to go east, and we'll uh, <coughs> we'll see what we can find. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's this could, could be a case of a fair bit of running over water. This video, uh, looking for looking for landmass. But I feel quite comfortable actually, you know, being, being an iron, island dweller myself, uh, IRL, then, yeah, <clears throat> quite quite used to coastal areas and, and the sound of the sea, uh, and I, I'm, you know, and I live by the sea as well, so, that's always pretty uh, pretty awesome. Anyway, I've got, I've got no idea what we'll come across first, but in this, in general, in, in, a, in a rough easterly direction, there appear to be a couple of islands. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm slightly concerned about from a video point of view, obviously, is uh, <laughs> it's how interesting it is <laughs> running around above water. I hope that it's uh, hope that we uh, we come across stuff. <coughs> what I'm going to do is cover the southern part first. It's kind of split into four sections, really, um, split into quarters. But I, I, I'm going to cover. I'm going to run along the sort of like the. Oh, I'm, I'm heading southeast now. Let's head back in an easterly direction. I'm going to cover the, the the southern portion of the of the area first, uh, and then I'll move on to uh, to the northern part. Now, as I said, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is is if we we just spend an awful lot of time running on the water, and um, and we don't see much. We just don't see anything. Basically, what I'd like to do is just try to keep this video all in one, rather than sort of stopping and starting again. <coughs> but 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 that's only if there's not going to be a load of uh, running across water. <laughs> we'll have to see. Have to see how it goes. Had a bit of a to topic of conversation today. Actually, I was thinking about it. Oh, there's an island. Let's go and have a look. Uh, I was thinking about it, reading some of some of the old comments. I, I kind of went back to uh, occasionally. I go back to sort of like old guild forums and stuff where I used to be members of, and <coughs> some of them have got archives. You, you can still kind of read. Some some of the old comments and whatnot, and um, what's quite oh, an NPC over there, an alluring siren. Okay, let's go and let's go and check it out. Uh, what I always find quite interesting is when people move on to the next MMO, like a new, particularly way back, sort of I'm talking about EverQuest period. Uh, oh, it's indifferent. Let's go and uh, let's go and get the alluring siren. On hello there. <coughs> I'm not sure how alluring she actually is. Uh, I don't mind the green hair, but the uh, but I'm not sure about the fins. Oh, there's some bloody goblins here. Look, holy shit! They're scowling, obviously. Um, an aqua goblin, an aqua goblin. Okay. Well, I think this is called the. Is it the Twin Tines? This 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 this, this first island here. Um, there's a couple of goblins there but I don't really think that uh, they're going to be 
no <clears throat> they're certainly not the ones that we uh, that we require um, okay so the next island from here is kind of southeasterly so let's head off in a southeasterly direction yeah it, it was interesting reading some of the old comments and also it ha I know it happened to Warcraft as well after a period of time World of Warcraft <clears throat> is, is how uh, how angry and um, hostile people get towards a previous MMO that they really loved and EverQuest was kind of the first one where I noticed that I, I started playing it with a guild um, and it, it was an obsession for a lot of people you know everyone in the guild loved it you know you'd, you'd log in and there was always a mass of people there uh, playing the game uh, a real addiction thing going on another island coming up there um, for for a lot of people, you know, and, and a lot of those people played the game for quite a period of time. Quite a period of time. Some of them kind of went off to Camelot uh, and other stuff. Oh, there's the Alizor, Alizusor, Alizor. I have no idea. Look at that beast, though. What a beast! Woohoo! He's awesome. It looks like is that a necromancer killing him? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he drops. Uh, but something I would imagine. Uh, look at that. Pretty awesome. Um, I saw some more goblins here, so let's check it out. I'd assume this is a great place to come and just, just camp stuff. If you, if you can find stuff around your level, just come and sit around and camp it. I'm sure it's pretty pretty good, actually. I don't know what the... Uh, uh, I don't know what that, that, that NPC drops there. More aqua goblins. Um little boat down there look at that that's pretty cool uh, an aqua goblin sacrifice standing at, at an altar type thing there that's interesting no one's sacrificing though like <laughs> if he's like oh yeah we'll, we'll get around to it kind of thing whereas uh, I, I want to get it over with I think probably um, just seems to be a load of aqua goblins again uh, I've got to be careful here because I think some of these islands do contain NPCs that are pretty pretty hardcore so I need to to watch what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the top of, top of this, this hill here. Um, see if there's anything up here. No, not particularly. Oh! Uh, the Alizor... <coughs> Aliz, Alizuzor is actually red to me. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty hardcore. There's Necromance down there called Corrupt. Uh, if you ever watch the videos, shout out to you. Hello. Uh, but let's move on. Um, just checking the map here. The next group of islands are. Let me just check my. Uh, <laughs> I've got five minutes levitate left. So what we'll do is I'll uh, I'll be flash again. Let's be flash. Use my cloak, and we'll head off. The next uh, lot of um, islands. Uh, looks like the sun's going down. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Next lot of islands are kind of north uh, northeasterly. So we'll head off in that direction. There we go. Um, yeah, I was, I was talking about sort of uh, uh, how people feel about past MMOs, you know, once they move on, and uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of people kind of moved on to. Um, I think, uh, as I said, you know, sort of a, a Camelot, um, some other ones people tried. A lot of people from the guild kind of went to Warcraft, World of Warcraft when it first came out. But what's quite surprising is how how cross and angry and. Uh, yeah, just full of vitriol they were for EverQuest after they'd kind of stopped playing it. You know, it's uh, I'm not sure if it, if there was kind of a guilt thing there with regards to the fact that they'd, they'd kind of I'm going east here. I'm going to go slightly northeast, really. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if it's kind of a guilt thing where they kind of wasted their life to this game, and afterwards they just oh, why the hell am I going down in the water? No way! <laughs> what am I swimming for? Holy smoke! Oh, well, that's rubbish, guys. What the hell happened there? Um, south, no, southwest. Would it be actually quick? I mean, I'm, I'm quite a quick, I'm a fairly quick. Sw oh, wait, here we go. I'm, I'm kind of running again. What is going on? Okay, Let, let's, let's stick with this. <coughs> yeah, so I mean, I, I kind of keep interrupting myself here, but but I'm always really surprised at how how cross people get with the previous MMO that they that they loved. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if it's a guilt thing where they've kind of invested a whole load of time into the in this to this particular game, whatever it may be. 
Um, and then they, they, at the end of it, they just feel it feels just quite a ho- ultimately it was quite a hollow experience. They don't think about the good times that they had with the game, just that they've kind of got to end game, and and it, and it just all feels a bit, you know, a bit hollow as I said, you know, and, and they feel that it's a waste. And and it happens with every, I mean I've noticed it happening with every MMO that, I, that I've played anyway. People move on. People moved on from Camelot, and they've kind of felt the same way about that. People moved on from uh, Warcraft to something else, you know. And, and again, you, you hear a lot of a lot of people slagging off Warcraft after after they've pumped sort of tons of uh, hours and hours into the game. But, but, but Ever, I think EverQuest and WoW were t- two that probably suffered the most. EverQuest particularly got uh, um, afterwards after the occasion after it'd been out for a few years you know there was a quite a vocal group of ex players who who just turned on the game and hated it mainly i think because of its its time sinky nature you know its grindy nature and, it, and its difficulty but it'd be weird but at the time they loved it you know it was a uh, it was kind of the, the the pinnacle of mmos for them you know they were highly addicted to it and maybe that that that's how it is you know maybe you from an mmo point of view some people invest a ton of time into the game I don't know where I am here. This might be Grey Isle. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, they invest a ton of time into into an MMO, like months, maybe even years of their life. Another necromancer there. It seems to be quite popular for necromancers. Uh, this area. Oh, there's a bloody spectre. Holy smokes! Didn't expect that. Um, let's just skirt around here. Oh, hang on. Zump. Zump and necrophiliac. <laughs> couple of couple of guys here clearing out some spectres. I didn't even know there were spectres on this island, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, but they seem to have be having no problems. I'm assuming necrophiliac is a necromancer, um, and the spectre's dead. No pet though. Maybe the pet died. Uh, there's Zump, a halfling. I'm going to say he's a, probably a druid. Um, well, it's uh, I don't see any goblins here. Let me just have a look around this side. I do like it when you just find the odd odd bit of thing. <laughs> like a ruin or a wall. It's just a again, it's just discovery. I love that when I'm out walking, you know, in sort of in real life, just, just out walking and you'll you'll find something new that you haven't seen before. There's another necromancer. Um greater skeleton over there. Yeah, kind of well camped here. Um it's kind of like lunchtime in, in the UK as well, so considering it, it's not prime time. Uh, these spots are, are pretty well camped. I think what I'll probably do is I need to be heading uh, the next island is to the oh it's just there look okay let's go <coughs> yeah to, to to try and put some sort of conclusion to what I was what I was talking about there um, it does seem to be a, a bit of a factor of, of people play MMOs uh, as I said it may, maybe it's a sort of you know there's a massive time investment and after that you kind of feel a bit embarrassed or a bit just a bit, you know. There's an old goblin headhunter there, so I'm pretty sure we're on the right track. Actually, this might be the the right island. So what I'll probably do is let's get out Zaboba or whatever his name is, and see how we get on. One of the things I haven't been doing, which is probably a bit stupid, is um, I didn't get reclaim energy uh, from a pet, which which I'm actually going to have to do at some point. Apparently, they say that the the magician focus items can be quite good for other classes with pets as well so I'll, I'll try and get bug rot one of those I think the shovel might be quite good someone said for shamans but I'll have to check that out but um yeah again I've kind of completely sidetracked from what I was what I was talking about so I'm trying to sort of come to come to some conclusion I certainly be interested if anyone else is, is, has come across that before or if you felt that way you know you've left an MMO that you love for a number of years and then you kind of find you know in, in Ultimately, uh, Zonana, there we go. Ultimately, you, you found actually you just hated the game when, when you look back, whatever reason. Um, I think it's this whole thing, isn't it? I think I think there's a bit of that with regards to... I think there's a, a, a bit of that in all of us, you know, when, when you kind of look at the arguments you get over graphics cards and stuff. You know, you see people go from AMD to NVIDIA and they've had fantastic um, experiences with, with NVIDIA in the, uh, with AMD in the past, but suddenly because they've bought an NVIDIA card you know AMD are suddenly shit essentially it's kind of that kind of thing isn't it I think but I always found it interesting but but as I was saying EverQuest got 
hammered particularly because of its difficulty and its, and its grindy nature people moved on to games i think what happened was people moved on to uh, games that seemed easier to play i think i think is the thing certainly camelot i found a bit easier to level in and it, and it was less harsh world of warcraft certainly was so i guess what you had is you had people who moved from everquest um other developers developed their games um kind of in conjunction with the the, the things that people didn't like about everquest you know so they, they tried to improve upon those um and which made everquest seem even more unforgiving and, and grindy i guess that's kind of part of uh, part of what was happening but yeah i always found it interesting you know it, it was always a uh, there's always a, a, a sort of a, a, a focus of arguments in in on in, on, in my guild, you know, in in guild chat. Uh, you'd have a group of people still playing EverQuest, a group of people have moved on to something else, and um, you know, the, the party that had moved on were once kind of EverQuest uh, obsessives, really, and but they they've moved on, and suddenly EverQuest kind of becomes the uh, yeah the Antichrist. Yeah, so interesting. But uh, oh, hang on, Bob, don't get too carried away with yourself. Okay, I've got a whole mass of goblins here, which is pretty awesome. I'm looking for the Isle Chief. Um, head goblin, a goblin headmaster. Okay, goblin headhunter, um, warrior. Now, what what, I, what I'm not sure about, what I need to check is see if there are any uh, placeholders. Uh, Okay, so on the on the I'm cheating a bit here. I'm having a quick look at the um, uh, quick look at the, the wiki. Apparently, there's a there's a hut. It might be that hut there. I have to check. Um, well, you got the chieftain or a wizard or or as a placeholder is a wizard. Um, so we'll yeah we'll have to check that out. These guys are green to me. I don't know what levels they are, but um, yeah, I'll have to see how it goes. Uh, up until this point, I'm kind of, when I've been doing the quest so far, I'm kind of used to just kicking the crap out of, <laughs> kicking the crap out of them essentially. <laughs> but we'll have to see. And there's the chieftain. Look at that. He's, he's uh, there's a bloody shaman there. Look, there's a chieftain there. He's uh, he's light blue to me. Okay, so, <coughs> um, pretty crap terrain for fighting on, I have to say. I think what I might, I think what I might do here is just clear out some of these guys. I think that's probably going to be uh, the best thing to do. Yeah, uh, me and Zonana will clear out some of these, some of these dudes. I think otherwise it's just going to be a bit of a mess of all these goblins <laughs> just randomly wandering around uh, while I'm trying to kill the chieftain. But we found him anyway, and he's light blue, so that, that's pretty interesting. The um, the the wiki claims that he's level 15. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if he's got different different kind of level ranges, but clearly he's uh, he's not level 15. So we'll have to uh, yeah we'll have to see how it goes. But I'm hoping that I can just clear some stuff. I can clear the stuff around him. There's a couple of headhunters outside. Uh, there's a shaman there. Can I pull the shaman on his own? Yo yo. Okay, I've pulled a shaman and a headhunter. And there's another Isle Goblin. Okay, fair enough. And there's the Chieftain. <laughs> fair enough. Problem is, the Chieftain's going to start casting spells. That's the thing that I'm kind of concerned about. A bit. Um, there's a shaman casting spells as well. I need to get in there and deal with the shaman, don't I, myself, probably. There we go. Uh, headhunter here. I'll just pick these guys off. Zonana seems to be dealing with it okay. Uh, that didn't take much. That didn't take much uh, much life off actually. <laughs> These guys are kind of pretty tough. Uh, I'm, I'm not close enough to, to be attacking him, which is a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. Now I need to get rid of this guy quickly um, and support Zonana really. Zonana, I should say. Uh, let's just burn this guy down quick. I have a shaman there, which is a bit of a, a bit of a pain. I've got to be careful here because the last thing I need to be doing is getting chased around islands by goblins. Uh, I actually got, I actually got uh, another isle goblin. Okay, 
So now, now, hang in there, mate. I'm coming with a greater heel. Hang in there. Yeah, well done, lad. <laughs> uh, if you can, get on the R, get on the R goblin there. Get on the R goblin. Let's get rid of that guy first, shall we? Can you do that? Will you change? Will you change? Uh, there's another shaman there. How, how much life has the goblin got? Uh, the chieftain. Oh God. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Zanana's getting completely uh, getting completely whooped here. And my mana is really low. So I'm kind of slightly concerned. How's the Chieftain doing? I imagine he he's kind of keeps healing himself, probably. I certainly haven't set myself up here particularly well. I mean, I mean what I should have been doing is... Um, uh, I, should have, I should really have, have set myself up somewhere so I can just pull... Uh, I can't heal Zonana, so that's a bit of a pain. Uh, they're all coming for me, so let's see how we get on. Uh, the Chieftain's hitting hard. Well, relatively. <laughs> Harder than I'd like him to be hitting. <clears throat> but I think I just need to put him out of action, don't I? Quickly. He's running. Oh my god, why is he running? Oh my giddy on. Why is the chieftain running? Makes no sense whatsoever. I got him. Okay, let's see what he's got. He's got a pipe. Okay, so we've got the pipe. Uh, yeah, falling down there, taking more damage is not the most sensible thing to do, Bob. Uh, okay, so where are we? We're kind of here. <laughs> uh, can, can I fight my way through this? We'll have to see. I'm kind of, I'm suspecting, I'm hoping that these guys are not going to do too much damage. Uh, and, I, and I can just tank the crap out of them. I've got no mana left, but, I mean, terrible, uh, terrible situation to be in. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I just didn't really, uh, didn't really think about that at all well, that one. Um, I'm kind of getting hit more than I'd like. The headhunter seems to be pretty, uh, pretty nasty. What I don't want to do is die here, of course. That would be an absolute catastrophe. There we go. Okay, let's get some control of the fight a bit here. Uh, well, we got the pipe. So we've got, we've essentially got both, the both items that we need. Um, we've got the pipe. And uh, we've got the, uh, what was the other item that, that we needed? And the scales. Yeah, so we've kind of got the stuff again that we need. A um, bit messy, guys, I have to say. Uh, there's no way that, that, that I should that it should have been this, this difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, but, but it kind of, things escalate in EverQuest, don't they? You know, you kind of... Uh, you, you're sit, you're, you know, you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, these are all green, so no problems, but... You know, obviously these guys all help each other out. Uh, when you get a bunch of them on you, irrespective of your level, you know you, you're you're gonna you're gonna sort of struggle a bit. Um, come on, don't just suddenly start missing the damn thing. Okay. So the headhunter, I don't think I've got any. You know, I've got enough mana to cast root, um, and he's pretty tough. This. Guy. Oh my god, I just got double double hit. God damn. I'm running. I don't know if I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die to some green dudes. What a fool, Bob. Um, yeah, I don't see. I don't see any way out of this. This is just a. <laughs> it's just a, an absolute mess. Dying in. I've, I've kind of come into the water as well, which was stupid. Maybe I should have. Uh, I've been stunned. Great. Come on. Dying in the water is also going to be uh, a massive laugh, isn't it? That's, that's going to make people laugh, that is. <laughs> I can't believe how much of a mess I've got myself into here. Really, really stupid. I've died and I've lost experience. Um, so I'm probably going to be at the bottom of the water, but I kind of know <laughs> I kind of know where I am. I haven't actually... I didn't actually bind myself here, so I've got a bit of a, bit of a run. But yeah, well guys, that, that just turned out to be a complete disaster, didn't it? 
I mean, real some real newbie mistakes made there. Um, I'm back here. I'm back where I was bound before, but that's okay. I don't mind a run. Um, I didn't lose any experience, so yeah, <laughs> I've got a corpse run to do. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. What a nightmare that was, but you know, we, we got I got there in the end. I'm always going to be embarrassed to put this video up, but there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you again soon. Hello guys, welcome back. Well, I just thought I'd tag this on to the end of the other video. Uh, <clears throat> I got my corpse back <laughs> in the end. And, um, I was seriously considering not putting up this video, just doing it again, because it was a, just a <laughs> um, just comedy of errors, really. I, it's, it's weird, you kind of... Uh, I was far too casual about the whole thing. I didn't buy myself, you know, just being too casual. The combat, I was just far too casual. I wasn't doing enough to... To, to, to sort of win the fight really I just thought it would be easy um, just taking it all too casually and, and that's the reason I put the video up is that's kind of what, I, what well I've put it up because I think with EverQuest you should see everything kind of warts and all you know but also just to show that that's what EverQuest's like you know if you take it for granted and you, and you just think that everything's going to be easy you're going to come become, you're going to come unstuck essentially um, yeah and so you, you do need to it's one of those games a bit like the a bit like the Souls games, you know, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, you do need to uh, respect it to a certain extent, otherwise it will just kick your ass, and that's exactly what it what it did to me. You know, I was kind of a bit embarrassed about dying there, um, irrespective of the fact that there was there was quite a few of them. You know, I just didn't do enough within the fight to to keep myself alive. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. But we do have the um, well, we, we, we don't we, we do have the Drake scale. Um, and we do have the pipe, driftwood pipe. Look at that. Might have a smoke of that before I, uh, before I, I hand it in. So essentially, I've got I've got the the, the tough things that I need to get to uh, to do the quest. Essentially, um, to get the cloak. And I need to I need to get myself a banded cloak, and I need to get some more dufferite, which is bloody expensive. <laughs> but there you go. Um, yeah. So next video, uh, we should have the cloak. So that, and that'll be that'll be two pieces. This one's been. Uh, apart from the stupid death, this one's been uh, pretty easy, I think. Quite lucky getting the scale. Um, the goblin fight, I made a lot more of it than I should have done. You know, it should have been a lot easier. But yeah, overall, it's not been too bad. I, I am could have sort of, you know, got to point out that I am kind of fairly over leveled, I guess, for the for these quests now. But you know, the point of doing them is just for the fun of doing them. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I didn't embarrass myself, embarrass myself too much, uh, and I'll be back again soon for the for the great cloak unveiling uh, thanks for watching and i'll speak to you again soon